Artificial intelligence eliminates jobs which just a year ago were considered immune to AI. But are there any professions that actually still have future? Well, we've got great news. There is one. In Hitchhiker Galaxy book, civilization called uh, Gold uh, Fringham uh, had three castes, like entire population was split in three groups. The cast A were leaders and scientists, the people who are looking into the future. The cast C were doers, uh, people who actually do things. And then cast B were middlemen, people who stitch it all together. If we use this analogy, the current map of professions will look something like that. These are so-called mass professions, which employ millions and millions of people. Let's take a look at cast C, the doers. AI started replacing them first, and jobs like um, factory workers and drivers, uh, they all will be replaced within the next 5 to 10 years. We have covered this in one of our previous videos, and you can find a link here. Now the cast B, the middleman. Lawyers, accountants, auditors, HR, marketing, and other similar jobs. They will be wiped out next by the second wave, uh, the second generation of AI, and this will also happen within the next decade. So let's take a look at what is actually left. If we ignore small niche professions, then pretty much all uh, we have are the construction and beauty industries. They appear to be resilient to AI, well at least for now. But wait, wait, I think we forgot something, here in the top left corner right here. Yes, scientists. Science had always been an underdog, a foster child of our civilization. Despite that they have driven all technological advancements and innovations, scientists were never truly respected or appreciated. To give an idea about how much the world did not care about scientists, here are a few facts. For example, the entire NASA's budget is approximately equal to that of NFL, the National Football League. Entertainment was always more important than space. Another fun fact, the average salary of a management consultant is about uh, 150,000 US dollars per year. Average salary of a scientist is about 90,000. Another example, Nikola Tesla, who made some of the greatest innovations and discoveries uh, in history, died penniless in a rented hotel room. We can continue this list forever. For centuries, scientists were treated just like a bunch of crazy weird people. And why pay scientists if they are willing to work for free? Well, indeed. In the past, if a graduate wanted to become somebody important and to make money, they chose a career pathway of, let's say, investment banker or a doctor or a lawyer. The last place an ambitious graduate wanted to be in was science. Look at this graph. These are 10 largest companies by the market capitalization. This was in 2005. As you can see, most of these companies are from oil, retail and banking, plus some manufacturing as well. In the hitchhiking galaxy world, these are cast B and cast C businesses, middlemen and doers. And then, look at what happened after 2015. Apple, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Tesla, Nvidia, Microsoft. They all took over. They replaced those old B-cast, C-cast businesses, eliminated them, destroyed them, made irrelevant. What do they all have in common? That's right, they are all cast A businesses looking into the future. They are all science-focused businesses. Look at this chart. It shows a combined market capitalization of science-focused uh, cast A companies versus all other companies like cast B and cast C. Look at it, what happens here after 2015. Boom! What a massive value creation. More than 10 trillion dollars were created. What exactly happened back then after 2015? Something must have caused this tectonic shift. The answer consists of two letters. A and I. AI. This was the time when AI became commercial. You can watch this video for more. Artificial intelligence is the foundation of all cast A companies. Google basically invented AI. 75% of Facebook is an AI recommendation system. 
Tesla is AI on wheels. Nvidia is AI brain. For the first time in history, science got money. AI gave money to science. AI itself is an ultimate form of science. Okay, okay, you'll say, science got money, I got it. Uh, indeed, maybe scientists are not uh, poor weirdos anymore. But isn't AI going to destroy science, just like it did with other professions? Well, you're right, to some extent. AI will make redundant many simple routine scientific jobs too, of course. However, the growth of science is so massive that much more new roles will be created than replaced. Science will be growing faster than AI will be automating it. And this will be a collaboration between humans and AI, not extermination. What this all means is that those talented heads who previously were going into investment banking now will flock into science. Scientists are about to become rich. Science is the new investment banking. Thank you for being with us on the Scripted channel. You can subscribe if you haven't done it yet. You can also like this video. You can also buy my new book, Scripter, The Dragon Well. The link is uh, here and below. Uh, you can, uh, Patreon and crypto wallets are also available for those who uh, want to support us.